Hey, what up all my tooth doctors and doctresses. Welcome to another video at the Tooth Factory. Today we're going to be talking about local anesthetic calculations in our dental pharmacology series. This is associated with AFK and INBDE exams. Very, very dense and important topic. Let's try and make it simple and as fun as possible so we don't have any trouble remembering the concept. Dr. Kanan Shah has created the contents and I am presenting. It's Dr. Rishi Shah. So, Local anesthetic and vasoconstrictor, two of the most heard concepts when it comes to local anesthesia, right? So when we calculate the maximum dose required for a patient, we use two variables. We use this local anesthetic and then we use vasoconstrictor values. We will take care of two practice problems uh, at the end of the lecture, so stay tuned and then we'll discuss references as well. First, of first things first, we need to understand the local anesthetic values. We need to understand the units, right? Well, local anesthesia, any uh, local anesthesia is described by percentages sign. So remember, we always hear 2% lidocaine or 3% mepivacaine and so on and forth. Well, what is that percentage? 2% means 20 milligrams of that substance in one milliliter of liquid. We also know that one cartridge of local anesthesia consists of about 1.8 milliliters of liquid. Some have 1.7, but we'll go with 1.8. What does that mean then? Well, if 2% local anesthesia equals 20 milligrams per one milliliter of liquid, then how many milligrams are in 1.8 milliliters? Well, that calculation clearly brings us to 36. So now we know that there's 36 milligrams of local anesthesia in a 2% solution per cartridge. Now, moving on to other values. If there is 2%, that equals 36 milligrams per cartridge, then 3% equals 54, 4% equals 72, and 0.5% equals nine milligram per cartridge. Is there a pattern that you guys notice? Well, absolutely. All of these are color-coded. They're all cartridges. Each cartridge will either have 36, 54, 72, or 9 milligrams of the respective anesthetic agent. But the rule of thumb here is that you would multiply the local anesthetic you're talking about. For example, you're talking about lidocaine 2%. Then you multiply that 2 by 18 to get per cartridge amount. That's the trick to it. So, move on to the next one. Here are some examples of what those 2%, 3% examples of local anesthetics look like. 2% usually is lidocaine and mepivacaine. 3% uh, is seen as mepivacaine plain. 4% is usually articaine and prelocaine. And 0.5% is bupivacaine. So, fun fact, bupivacaine is one of the longest lasting in terms of duration for local anesthesia. Therefore, it's the least in percentage. Now, a little revision of local anesthetic terminologies. We know that there's two types, right? There's an ester and then there's an amide. Well, an ester is called an ester because the chemical formulation has an ester bond and amide has an amide bond. Simple enough. However, this is the difference. We're looking at metabolism. We know that esters are metabolized in plasma cholinesterase. It's the enzyme that metabolizes esters. It's located in the blood, clearly plasma. Amides are, or amides for that matter, are metabolized in the liver using microsomal enzymes. So that's a big difference to remember. Yes, these little points are asked in the exam. The example of an ester is procaine with trade name novocaine. And Amides are lidocaine, trade name xylocaine. Now, do you notice how there is one eye in this and then there's two eyes in the amides? Well, that's the trick. The trick to remember various different names of local anesthesias using how many eyes they have. Well, if they have only one eye, it's generally an ester. Well, except articaine, that's the exception. However, amides will have two eyes. So, remember that way, two eyes, Amides, one eye, ester. Okay, moving on to the calculations part of it. Now we're looking at the maximum 
dose, maximum recommended dose of the local anesthetic calculation. Now this chart is one of the most important charts that we can speak of when it comes to calculations. All of these values are given. There is no way to derive them. These are given. So, for example, 2% lidocaine has a maximum dose per weight as 7 milligrams per kilograms, but we cannot exceed more than 500 milligrams. So, if for example, a patient is, for example, 100 kilograms, then that would bring this number up to 700 milligrams, right? But we cannot exceed 500. So, as soon as the weight that leads the milligrams to exceed 500, we stop. That's what maximum recommended, recommended dose means. In that sense, maximum cartridge is allowed is 11 when we use 1 to 100,000 concentration of epinephrine. Now, don't worry about the concentrations for now. We will take care of it in the next few slides. Let's just focus on local anesthetic for now. So, moving on to the next one, 2% mepivacaine. It's got per weight at 6.6 .6 milligrams per kilogram or 4.4 milligram per kilogram. I know there's two different values, but the references that we used uh, to build this lecture had Malamed and another source that's mentioned below will have both values. So Malamed also has two tables. However, just remember both of them. It's just easier that way. And the maximum recommended dose is 400. So with the weight in mind, let's not cross 400. And mepivacaine at 2% also has 11 cartridges. So remember this, 2%, 11 cartridges, okay? 3% mepivacaine, plain. 6.6 .6 milligrams per kilograms or 4.4 milligrams per kilograms. Maximum dose is 400, just like above, no change. But this is 7. So whenever you have 3% mepivacaine, you're looking at 7, okay? Now 4% articaine is 7 milligram per kilogram, just like lidocaine. There is no specific maximum recommended dose in terms of how many milligrams we can go to. And the cartridges we're at is 11 maximum. 4% prelocaine is 8 milligrams per kilograms at 600 milligrams maximum cap, nothing above it. And 8 cartridges at max. So see the pattern here, 8 milligram per kilogram and 8 cartridges. Last but not the least, the 0.5% bupivacaine is at 2 milligrams per kilograms, maximum 200 milligrams and 22 cartridges. We're on now to the vasoconstrictor values. We've finished the first part, the local anesthetic values. Vasoconstrictors, however, are not percentages. They are determined by ratios of concentrations. And this is where we deal with uh, 1 to 100,000 and so on and forth. So let's take a look at that. If 1 to 100,000 is equal to 0 0.01 milligram per milliliter, then how much is there in a cartridge of 1.8 milliliters? So remember, um, in the local anesthetic, we had the 2% equals to 20 milligrams. Well, similarly, when we use ratios for vasoconstrictor, we come down to the calculation of 0 0.01 milligram per milliliter. In that sense, if 1 to 100,000, uh, sorry, I ignore the uh, percentage here. If 1 to 100,000 concentration of vasoconstrictor is 0 0.01 milligram per 1 milliliter, then how many milligrams of epinephrine is there in 1.8? Every cartridge will have 0 0.018 milligrams. It's a simple cross multiplication, right? So every cartridge will have 0 0.018 milligram when we're at 1 to 100,000 concentration. So everyone's following, that's perfect. So if 1 to 100,000 is 0 0.01, then 200,000 will be 0 0.05. 50,000 will be 0 0.02. Now, why, why is it that when this number doubles, this number goes half? Well, think of it. 
When you have something that is solid into a liquid at 1 to 100,000 concentration, and when you have 1 to 200,000, then which one is more concentrated? This one is, right? Because there's 1 to 100 over 1 to 200. So this number is more concentrated, which is why this is a bigger number than this. And 1 to 50,000 being even more concentrated than this value. Therefore, we're at double, 0 0.02. So these numbers are very important to, to memorize. In terms of cartridges, we've already looked at this, that at 1 to 100,000, 0 0.018. And as easy it is, 0 0.09 for 1 to 200,000. And 1 to 50,000 leads to 0 0.036 milligrams per cartridge. Now, how do we get to all of these numbers? Well, very simple. We need to understand that 1 to 100,000 is just half, right, of 200,000. Similarly, 0 0.018 divided by 2 leads to 0 0.09. If 1 to 100,000 is half of 50,000, there it is, divided by 2. So that leads to this. So if 50,000 is at 36, then 100,000 will be almost half its concentration. Therefore, 36 divided by 2 is 18. And that's this. So just a few ways to remember it. If you guys can remember the numbers, that's great. If not, here's the concept to remember it, eh? Okay. Now, I do have uh, something to introduce here for you guys. I'm just going to erase ink on this slide. Okay, so levonorepheren. Levonorepheren is another local anesthetic that is only at 1 to 20,000 local anesthetic. Sorry, 1 to 20,000 epinephrine. That leads to 0 0.05 milligrams per milliliter which then in a cartridge format is 0 0.09 milligrams per cartridge. Now, how do we know this, right? How do we get to this value? Well, think of it. If 1 to 100,000 is 0 0.01, then what's the difference at 20,000? It's five times more concentrated, right? So we multiply this number by five. Therefore, we get 0 0.05. And then when we get 0 0.05 milligrams per one milliliter, and we know that each cartridge is 1.8 milliliter, then we end up at 0 0.09 per cartridge. Now this value will be important in the next slide, so that's why we brought this yellow point up. So keep that in mind as well, guys. Feel free to write notes as we go ahead, guys. Vasoconstrictor calculation, healthy versus cardiac. So first let's talk about healthy patients. Maximum dose allowed. When we use epinephrine for a healthy patient, so no history of any cardiac conditions, a maximum of only 0.2 milligram is allowed. Remember, just like the local anesthetic agents, there's a cap on epinephrine as well. 0.2 milligrams or 0.03 milligrams per kilograms. Now why do we need to use this right here? Well, sometimes when the patients are underweight, we have to use the weight calculation, not the maximum. We can't give them the maximum. So the law is that if the patient weighs more than 66.6 .6 kilograms, the maximum dose automatically becomes 0.2 milligrams for epinephrine. If the patient is less than 66.6 .6 kilograms, the maximum dose is used as a weight equation. So remember this, whenever you answer questions for the local anesthetics, the, we keep the weight in mind. Moving on to the levonorepheren in a healthy patient. Levonorepheren, that one highly concentrated um, look, uh, epinephrine, the maximum is only 1.0 milligram. When the patient is in cardiac conditions, when they have history of cardiac conditions, the epinephrine is only limited to 0.04 milligrams. Look how much of a difference that is. 0.2 all the way down to 0.04. It's a fraction. 
because the patient is suffering cardiac. So remember this number, very, very important number, 0 0.04 milligrams of epinephrine in a cardiac patient. Levonorepine, on the other hand, is 0 0.2 milligrams, right? So another pattern to remember, that in a healthy patient, epinephrine is 0 0.2. In a cardiac patient, levonorepine is 0 0.2. Lots and lots of patterns here, guys. So I hope it's very easy to remember that way. If not, feel free to scroll back and uh, write some notes and have yourself write some acronyms as well. Now, let's talk about maximum cartridges. Remember, local anesthesia, we talked about their own. So with this, let's talk about each. Epinephrine. In a healthy patient, a maximum of 0 0.2 milligram is used. We know that. So with concentrations in mind, 1 to 100,000, 11 cartridges. 1 to 200,000, 22 cartridges. And 1 to 50,000, 5.5 cartridges. These values are very, very important for maximum dose calculations. So think of it this way. If the maximum dose is 0 0.2, right? So think of it this way. If maximum dose is 0 0.2 milligrams is our cap, and each cartridge at 1 to 100,000 will have how much? Exactly. It will have 0 0.2. 0.018 milligram per cartridge at 1 to 100,000 concentration, right? So, how many cartridges will it take for us to get to the maximum? The answer is 11. Therefore, 11 cartridges. That's how they're calculating it. And once we know that amount, we can look at the other values such as uh, 200,000, we can double it because it's half the half the concentration, right? And then we can half the cartridges for 1 to 50,000 because it's even more concentrated. We can't go up to 11. Therefore, these values are very important. In a cardiac patient, we know that the maximum is 0 0.04 milligrams. Therefore, two cartridges at 1 to 100,000, four cartridges at 1 to 200,000, one cartridge at 1 to 50,000. Now, how do we get to this value? Well, same thing. If at 1 to 100,000, we have 0 0.018 milligrams, then 0 0.04 is reached in how many cartridges? So, if one has that many, only two can fit within this. Sorry, 0 0.04, right? So in a simplified manner, 0 0.018 equals one cartridge times by two equals 0 0.036 equals two cartridges times by three. Therefore, 0 0.054 equals three cartridges. Whoa, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We can't go up to 0 0.054 we have to stay below 0 0.04. Therefore, we're at two cartridges. I hope that concept is clear how we got the values. Moving on to the levonorepine, it's actually very simple because there's only one concentration we're dealing with. Maximum is 1.0. At 1 to 20,000, we have 11 cartridges. Maximum of uh, 0 0.2 for any cardiac patients leads us to two cartridges. So it's very simple, right? You just remember uh, the 1 to 100,000 of the epinephrine is on both sides and they both become the same values. Right? Okay. So now we know the maximum cartridges for epinephrine. How do we get this number? Explained ahead. So it's a little revision. Now the question is each cartridge, so each cartridge equals 0 0.018 milligram for 1 to 100,000 of epinephrine, correct? Therefore, maximum dose for healthy patient is 0 0.2 milligrams, perfect. Therefore, 0 0.018 times how many is a number very close to 0 0.2? Well, 
Well, that is 11. Simple. So, 11 cartridges for 1 to 100,000 concentration. Multiply that by 2. For 1 to 200,000. Divide this by half. For 1 to 50,000. And that's how we got those numbers. Okay? Perfect. So let's move on. Practice problem number one. We've gone through all of these uh, values ahead. We're going to resolve our first question for, for the practice exam for the boards. So the question is, calculate the maximum cartridge for this patient. Uh, it's a healthy patient, so we have a clue here. Male, not needed, so there will be detractors in the question. Stay away from detractors, guys. Eliminate them as much as possible. Weighing at 80 kilograms, this is important. Given 2% of lidocaine, also important. With a 1 to 100,000 concentration of epinephrine. Very important. Okay, so now we know. For the extraction of upper right first molar, also a detractor. This does not determine how much local anesthetic we can give them. Okay, so let's calculate. For every calculations, we're going to look at two variables. We're going to look at the local anesthetic variable and we're going to look at the vasoconstrictor. So let's take a look at local anesthetic. So we know it is 2%. We know that the maximum recommended dose is 7 milligrams per kilogram. We also know that the maximum recommended dose in milligrams is 500. Remember from that chart on the previous slides? And we also know that the maximum cartridges is 11. All for lidocaine. Correct? Okay. So if we know all of this, then, so for local anesthesia aspect, we're going to consider that there is 2% equals 36 milligrams per cartridge. And we can only give them 7 milligrams per kilogram. Therefore, how much can we give an 80 kilogram person? Right? Divided by how much there is per cartridge. So far, so good, guys. Okay. This equals to 7 times 80 divided by 36. Because then we get rid of the milligram, milligram, and then kilogram, kilogram leads to how many cartridges. So that is 560 divided by 36. That leads us to about 15 carts. Okay? 15 cartridges when we use the local anesthetics. Okay, so I'm just going to write down here on the side that local anesthetic came out to be about 15 carts. But remember, remember this, that using lidocaine, we could only give a maximum of 11 carts. Therefore, we cannot use this equation. We cannot rely on the local anesthetic variable. So let's move on to the next one, epinephrine, right? Let's move on to the vasoconstrictor. So we know that we used 1 to 100,000 concentration. We have a healthy patient that weighs more than 66.6 kilograms. Therefore, 0 0.2 becomes our maximum, right? It becomes our max. 1 to 100,000 concentration was what? 1 to 100,000 was 0 0.018 milligrams per cartridges. Now we know that our max is 0 0.2. Then this is what we're going to do. How many cartridges at this volume fit into 0 0.2 milligrams? The answer is 11. 
Remember on our previous pages, we did mention that 1 to 100K was 11, 1 to 200K was exactly double that, and 1 to 50K is 5.5. So this is the value we have come to. We may not have to go through all of this if we remember these numbers, but I'm just showing you guys both methods on how to do it. So, with epinephrine's choice, we have come down to 11 carts max with epinephrine. With local anesthetic's choice, we have come to 15, which is already more than the max. So, what is the maximum safe safest uh, cartridges that can be delivered to this patient? Well, we always choose the smaller number. So it's 11 cartridges. The answer is 11 cartridges for this question. I know there were a lot, a lot of different uh, uh, calculations, guys. I know it is very upsetting, but I went through all this detail so it can be easily remembered in the future. So without much ado, Problem number two. Calculate the maximum cartridge for this patient. So let's read this question. Patient with recent history of myocardial infarction, so important point here, presents with the clinical for uh, extraction of lower third molars, so another detractor. We don't need it. Patient weighs 75.6 kilograms. This value is important and will be given 4% articane. We know what local anesthetic was used. With 1 to 200,000 epinephrine. Now, we are very keen at this point to go and calculate the local anesthetic version, the epinephrine version, all of it. But guys, think about it. There is a cardiac condition present. With epinephrine in mind, for a cardiac patient, we have a cap, a cap of 0 0.04 milligrams. We cannot exceed that no matter what, right? And remember, with epinephrine at 1 to 100,000, you could only give two cartridges max. And with one to 200,000, we can give a maximum of four cartridges. So in this case, for this particular patient, no matter what the local anesthetic calculations bring us, we cannot exceed four cartridges. Therefore, the answer to this question is four max okay guys i hope that was uh, informative enough for us today and i hope you guys learned something new today the resources that were used for today's lecture are the two textbooks here little and phallus and malamed the links are placed in the description box below for both of the textbooks and thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more lectures on academics and career coaching from the Tooth Factory.